What's up guys, Real Tea Dragon here, and I'm gonna be cosplaying Spider-Man today. Again, but this time PS4 classic suit. So the Spider-Man PS4, PlayStation 4, video game version of the suit, what does this mean to me? I really like this classic suit. This is the version I've wanted to just have and wear all the time for skits. A breakdown of this Peter Parker Spider-Man. So in the video game, you start out in an apartment that you're getting evicted from because of course Spider-Man doesn't have any money because being a hero doesn't make money. And so a quick breakdown of this character is really Spider-Man going day to day uh, dealing with new situations and conflicts and learning how to adapt and deal with them while going through drama with Mary Jane and meeting Mom Morales who might be in the next Spider-Man PS4 video game. It might be PS5. Who knows, right? So, I really love this character. He's dope. He fights the Kingpin. He fights the Green Goblin. He fights the Scorpion dude. He fights Rhino. He fights the Vulture. It's all the classic villains. This tale is the Spider-Man game we've always wanted to play, fighting all the classic enemies and doing it the right way. Overall, the Spider-Man PS4 game is 10 Spider-Man suits out of 10 Spider-Man suits. I just had such a great experience playing this video game in the iconic suit that it made me feel like a lot of emotions about like why I like Spider-Man so much. The free flowingness of it and his interaction with lots of different characters and what that means to him. So Spider-Man PS4, man, this I love this costume. This is the iconic classic costume that from the first comic to now, it's just, it's great, man. Always wanted this suit. Miles Morales is an alternate universe version of Spider-Man. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. His father is a police officer. His mother is Latina, so he's Af Afro-Latino American Spider-Man, which is pretty dope. His uncle is like a super villain called the Prowler. So and in the movie, he meets different Spider-Man from different dimensions, and they all come together and stuff, fighting Kingpin and the various villains that are in the movie. And he got like pretty dope powers that Peter Parker doesn't have. Like he can turn invisible and he can like shoot like an electric venom blast. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> I cosplay Miles because it's, it's a dope suit. Like, who wouldn't want to wear this thing? Like, come on, it looks all cool. And, like, it's red and black. You like, he's like, any Spider Man suit that's red and black is like an absolute win for me. In the movie, like, Miles, he gets bitten by a spider and then gets like Spider Man powers. When the Spider Man of his dimension like dies, he tries to learn how to become a new Spider Man from the Peter Parker of the like an older Peter Parker from a different dimension. And like through the whole movie, like they have the, like this mentor and, and and student kind of relationship. And and like he's teaching them how to like be Spider-Man, but, but him still being old and you know, stuff. And like later on, he meets like other spider people. They all, they all have to come together and fight Kingpin and Prowler. And by the end of it, he becomes his own Spider-Man. and. He gets the, the recognition and respect from all the other Spider-Man of the different universes. The memorable time for me wearing this suit was like the last Momocon. Like I, I went there as this Miles and actually won like a, a, a advanced screening to Spider-Man Far From Home and it was sweet because I never win stuff so I got all happy because I actually won something. So it was pretty cool. And like during the whole movie he's learning like more about himself and, and learning how to use his powers and how to be like a different Spider-Man from everyone else and, and find his own like inner reason to be like, you know, the hero that, that, that he wants to be, you know? like not like Peter was or how Gwen is like he wants to be is like Miles Morales Spider-Man taught me that I can be like the greatest myself you know like not not the greatest like you know Peter Parker or greatest like Spider-Gwen like I can be like I can be Spider-Man but I could be my Spider-Man you know that's beautiful man uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. last words Watch the movie if you haven't. Like, come on now, what you doing? Like, if I could have one superpower, I, I just want to turn Super Saiyan. Then, like, like, come on now. Like, <laughs>
freaking dope, man. <laughs> You're the Super Saiyan. You can do anything, man. Oh, man, that's funny. Hey, I'm Sunny Ray Cosplay. I go by Ray, and today I am going to be cosplaying Spider Man 2099. One of the coolest things that I liked about this character was that it was originated from a lot of the creators that began Spider-Man. Everything from Steve Ditko, Stan Lee, Peter David, Rick Lombardi. And this just brings a different version of the character, but it's still from the minds that originally started it. So I think that's something really special. Spider-Man 2099. Obviously I'm not Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Woman 2099, but you know. It's a really cool suit and I couldn't resist, so here is a breakdown of the character. So I am cosplaying Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara, who is living in the year 2099, obviously, and he is basically tasked or on a mission to try and recreate the era of heroes, which is when normal all the Marvel hero heroes used to be, but he's obviously in the future, so tries to recreate Spider-Man powers, but accident happens, he ends up with you know, the DNA coding of a spider ends up with spider fangs, spider eyes, spider sensibilities, spider powers. It's all around really cool. All that happens and voila, you get Miguel O'Hara, Spider-Man 2099. Pretty cool. He's got an AI called Lila that is like his sidekick. So it's a really cool character and he's off on some adventures. The art style is definitely something I enjoy a lot, even though it's an older style because of how long ago it was done, but Rick Lombardi did a wonderful job of making sure his use of color was just right and didn't, even though this takes place in a futuristic setting, it didn't feel so much like the Jetsons. It really had some grounding reality to it. I am a huge Blade Runner fan. Like, I love Blade Runner. It pulls so many elements that I know and love from those films and it ties it into something that I love, which is Spider-Man. Oh, it's a Sony Ray cosplay, and we are having this awesome photo shoot. We've got some pretty cool walls to do some things with. Thought we'd have some fun. Spider-Gwen. Spider Gwen. Okay, so it's Gwen Stacy on Earth 65. She is still in high school and her best friend is Peter Parker, but unfortunately he gets bullied and takes matters into his own hands, becomes the lizard, and she's the one that got bit by the spider instead of Peter Parker. So obviously she was the one that had to stop him and tragically he passes away um, from that fight. And so she takes it upon herself to just be the best Spider Gwen that she can be. Let no one else get hurt. Save as many people as possible. Kind of the same concept of Spider Man and why all that got started, but roles are reversed. I remember when they were revealing Gwen Stacy coming back as Spider Gwen in the Spider Verse series, and then she had her own spin off. And like, it just like, whoa. It was really cool because I loved Gwen Stacy as a character, but then we got her back finally, which was like unheard of. Of all the comic book characters that never come back, Gwen was the one that never came back. She was actually a really cool character. How do you feel like you can relate to the Spider Gwen? Never wanting to hurt your friends, so you kind of pull up inside internally but you have to learn to trust your friends as well and know that they're going to be there for you and that there are others that understand. It's just a matter of communicating that. And I think her whole arc is an awesome explanation for learning that you're not alone, you know, when bad things happen. Because a lot of bad things happen to a lot of different people, a lot of good people. And you can do something about it. Just. Be cool, be kind. Anyone can be a hero, you know? <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Roti Dragon here. Just a real quick tidbit. This is our new jab at the photoshoot series we've had on our channel for this past year. 
going into 2020, we want to try something to get into the characters and learn more about them, as well as see how they inspire us as cosplayers and seeing our perspective and how they encourage us to cosplay them and why we love these characters. So I hope you enjoy this. If you like it, please let us know in the comments or if you have any thoughts about it, let us know how do you feel about Spider-Gwen and her story in the comics or in the movies. We love to hear it and we always read all the comments. You guys are the best. I hope you enjoy this new jab we have at this series. We're gonna keep it going into 2020, so keep showing your support. We truly appreciate it. Now, back to the video. Spider Gwen, her theme song. She doesn't have one yet, but I mean, it's all up here. <laughs> what would Spider Gwen's theme song be? Um. Still working on that. Spider Gwen, Spider Gwen does whatever Gwen can. Out. You know, something like that. It would go something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of yeah. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I am Realty Dragon, and today I am cosplaying the Ultimate Spider Man. What I love about Ultimate Spider Man, well, what's not to love? I read the comics you know, in recent years and discover that this character is the underdog classic Peter Parker that we all love. This is my favorite suit. This was my first cosplay ever. That's where my story began. When I got my first Spider-Man Ultimate suit and the birth of this YouTube channel and the, and the next saga where we are right now. What's up guys? We are cosplaying the Ultimate Spider-Man today. And so a quick breakdown synopsis of this character, Ultimate Spider-Man is Peter Parker in high school, super young. He is getting control of his life. He is discovering Mary Jane and other characters in his life and, and learning how to deal with these relationships and separating that from being Spider-Man and getting Spider-Man superpowers and learning how to just go forward. So the story is really about him learning how to become a hero even though he's knocked down again and again and again in a lot of situations even though he does the right thing he always loses a piece of peter parker when he becomes spider-man he loses a piece of spider-man when he becomes peter parker at the end of the day it's the story of sacrifice and growth and learning about how to make things work and not giving up because he doesn't give up and by the end of the story things do work out because whether I know it or not, when I was a kid, these stories are what made me the way I am right now. I wanted to become that hero. I wanted to do the right thing. I wanted to help out where I can, whether it's a superhero or not, you know? And that's, I guess that's where they're saying, anybody can be a hero comes from, because it's not about wearing spandex and being nice. It's about just doing the right thing every day and trying your best to just help where you can. Not Spider-Man, but you or me, help where I can. In a way, it's like reading the comics in our series. You're watching a video, same format of the story of the character and what our take on it maybe is. Whether that's a fun skit or just goofing off, you know? Maybe somewhere in the Spider-Verse we exist and they would visit us through a warp gate hole. <laughs> yeah, who knows, right? <laughs> Comic book logic? Multiverse theory? What? <laughs> What's up guys, the Spidey here, ah, introducing Gwen Chase. Gwen Chase from uh, some universe. Welcome to the party. I'm happy to be here. You're happy to be here? No. <laughs> We're gonna do a photo shoot today, so come hang out, watch it. Spidey got a new suit today. Well, I guess it's a classic suit. Let's get this slideshow rolling. <laughs> Oh, 
right, I hear that it's new for you to become a Spidey. How, how does it feel? I think that it's very intriguing, and I also feel like um, it's cool to be part of the web. Does that work? Is that funny? Yeah. Is that good? Isn't that funny? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I was gonna say the web I weave. Yo, there you go, you're cashing on. I think, wait, do I need to look like into it? Do I look into this or talk to you? That's a great question. <laughs> see, see, you can't tell where he's looking. So he gets to, like, he's not even looking at the camera. He's not even looking at me. Like, he's like, oh. I can't even see, man. I can't <laughs> see out of these, this, these eyes, man. I got spidey senses. That's how I, like, envision the world, you know? See, that's, that, yeah. So it's kind of like. Now you have that, too. I hear someone in need. We got to go. <laughs> I'm holding on to her. She's like, oh. Tell us what kind of poses we should do next. Uh, mostly me because I'm new to this. So maybe like, think of like Power Rangers meets Spider Verse. Maybe. What do you think? Leave a comment. <laughs> Pose. Are you ready? Action pose. <laughs> you know, because people always forget that the real villain is probably above you, not left or right. Whoa! <laughs> So yeah, that was our photo shoot. Did you have some fun? I did. Yeah. <laughs> it was fantastical. I also want to say um, I'm really digging winning an Oscar. Like it's a uh, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Watch the movie. Woo! So yeah, that was a photo photo shoot with uh, Gwen Chase. With Gwen Chase and Spidey. Catch you on the flip side. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Watch it on the web. Ha! <laughs> ha! Honey, you got puns. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, the Dragon. Woo!
What's up? Realty Dragon here, aka Spider-Man Month Special. That was a compilation of our photo shoots from the past years. Leave a comment, let me know which one was your favorite, who's your favorite character from the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse, comic books, all that jazz. You can subscribe if you really liked what you saw today. Also, join the channel, be a member. That helps a bunch with just keeping this channel running. You know, like it, comment, all that jazz. You guys are amazing. Remember, like always, stop hate, make love, and anybody can be a hero. Peace.